Hey, I'm Kev Kev, Mr. Cole, and welcome back to Manager Career in MotoGP 17. As we have completed two thirds of the season after a very disappointing round in Silverstone, we're looking to bounce back round the Mazzano World Circuit, Marco Simoncelli. As here we are in Mazzano in Italy for the second round of the season after out in Mugello, where we had a very good pace rise just thing come together in the race and it's definitely been a theme for most of this season I feel like with McDonald has. Let's talk you around this Masano track. I've been the kindest to me in the past. Let's see if it will be this time around as we've got this tricky first section taking second gear corners making sure you're keeping the flow and rhythm of things and then an even tighter section get down to first gear for the right hander. In slight left through the next right, and then the left hand away. You can, oh, you can virtually go flat out. We tried it, van ride though. Didn't end in a crash though, unlike the tie rider. It's crashed early. Qualifying to get it up to sit, getting down to first for the hairpin. Taking the wide line there, but if you've got the power early enough, shouldn't be too bad. As now we head into a double right. Go flat during the first part, then nearly break down to first gear for the next part. And now here is where it gets fast in Rosano. You've had some very tricky tight sections, but now you've got the five speed sweepers here. Flat out during the first part in sit. In the second part, again flat out, and then your brakes almost immediately for the third. Down the second gear, you can probably take that in third. Down the first gear for another hairpin. And so now we go into the SAR section of the lap. Put out in third gear, do we? We do, just about. In the final corner, deceptive how early you have to break for it. As you can see, I outbreak myself into it. But you can take that in second gear if you hit it right. Here we go across the line. We've got one minute 50. I'm not sure about that that time. Again in qualifying. As McDonald dismounts. Where we end up on the grid. Sixth! What? I didn't think this circuit would be kind to us, but... Sixth! Second row! Best qualifying by country mole! So far this season, just three tenths of a second. Close as a quarter of a second behind one. Mir once again takes pole. Here Belega connect third. Fanati off the front row for the first time in a while in fourth. Martin fifth. McDonald in sixth. Top Berger by country. My head of McPhee. DJ Antonio and Bastianini. Antonelli rounds out the top ten. As Kornfeld is the second Peugeot. A couple of seconds off our pace in 18th. Looking down the order. Unfortunately, Adam McDonald is last by 12 thousandths of a second. But can we back up this fantastic qualifying performance? Have a race like we had in Catalonia and battle right at the front. As another wonder that from Blue still. Look at that, he's on the first page. In safe with. Otel down in 12, Rodrigo leading the fifth row ahead of Nuruddin and Loy Guerrero leads the sixth throw with Danilo and Kornfeld instead of 14, 20, Binda down to 24th. The ninth throw once again, Bowen Herrero together with Arenas and then the last throw it's your familiar suspects with Magnum right at the back. As we prepare for this race, there is Mir. Very familiar for him up in first. But not for me, for McDonald in seventh. Look at that, he's right next to the battling championship rivals. He can see the lights, we don't need them. Well, it's green as we prepare for them to go out for the sixth that race. Not a good start though, as Martin gets away. Look at the third row, I've already jumped as we approach this first corner. We settle down in ninth, are we? We're going to look down the inside of Bastianini, was that? Giving in a bash. This is settling in eight. We make a move into this right hand is so tight. 
Oh, but hoops it up beautifully. He's got Antonelli now making strides behind the Italian's home race. And you get the run right onto this back straight, as you saw, taking loads of curves, breaking just before the corner as well. It wasn't Bastianini who passed, was that DJ and Antonio who passed? We've got Bastianini in front. They seem to always be getting confused between those two. We've got McPhee as well, standing for a podium with Belega. Got Kinnett in second. Once again, McPhee with a super start. But again, with the Scott, it's not about the start, it's about the rest of the race for him. He's already dropped down to sit behind Fernati. As here comes Antonelli, a rival from Germany in quite a few races. Oh, here comes everyone. No straight line speed at all. We're down to 11. Got Otel behind. Letting up into that second right hand and then into the back army of the Sky Italia. Right, that's allowed Otto down the inside. Run right. Will Roy go past us? He will not. So we're down to 12 after a decent enough start. Looking down the inside of the German No. Back into 11. Got me and Belega battling at the front. This is hit the apex kind of again no speed though through the final corner as we go on to the second half of the race predictably we're down the order as we saw on qualifying we've got pace let's see if we can string it together now we've got Lloyd up into 12 past Hotel behind we've got DJ and Antonio up into 9th it was the Italian on that first that we passed and trying to ease it in down the inside of the Italian. But definitely that right hand is working for us. It's the left. It's that time we lift and use all of the curb with his back straight. Can we get some slipstream going on? Of course not on this perch. I'm even leaning forward. It's not working this time. So break very deep into the hairpin, taking it outside the line. You see the Italian looking down her inside. He's still looking down her inside. That's coming the outside now for the double right. He's got Bastianini and Fanati battling for sit from front. You can see that on our screen. Not just by going by what's in the bottom left anymore. We've got Mir in first, ahead of Kinnett, the title rivals going at it. With Martin joining in. And there goes the Italian back pass us into Tev. Here we go through the right. A superb run right into the back of the Italian though, and oh, we've pushed him down again. McDonald had another notch onto his bedpost. As Otto tries to go past us into 10th. German looking to the outside for the penultimate corner. So we hold the apex, but he's still holding onto the podium spot in front. So we go get it down to second for the final corner. That's how you're meant to take it. But now we've got a second and a half gap to Antonelli in front. To cross the line in tenth onto the further after the race. And oh, and here comes Loy out of nowhere. Here we go, Loy. Trying to get back at us for Austria, of course. Where McDonald made friends once again with someone. So we outbreak as I was into that right hander though. Having to use some of the runoff. Go from here with that. We got back up into 10th, but we compromised our slime into the left hand. That's allowed Otel pass. Now here comes Loy on the rear part. Looking to the outside, maybe. It's just sticking to the inside line here, breaking slightly earlier. Oh, almost into the back of the German. But Loy's got the cut back on us. See, qualifying was just a dream. I thought that pace could carry over into the race, but obviously not. With the slit streaming as well. It's allowing these more powerful bikes or just faster bikes in a straight line to get by us. But we're clinging on into the points. I would take points happily from this race with our battle course in the championship for 30 with Rodrigo. No, Dennis. Oh, we're almost going to the back of Roy now. Looking to the outside, the Belgian rider into the hairpin. Oh, superb run out of it into the penultimate corner. We take over 11. It's an all that exit curve. 
and get it down into the apex for the final corner. As we're halfway through this race now in 11th spot. You can see 10th right in front. We can see Libero Lloyd down her inside once again. And oh, the Belgium hits our ride. That is for Austria. Oh, but no, no, McDonald's not accepting that as he goes slightly off track. We're going to let him back by, Lloyd. Or is the Belgian not accepting it? As McDonald keeps 11th. Oh, and Lloyd goes past us and... Who is that coming by? That's Binder. Another blinder from Binder, like in Assen. Like in Austria. The South African is back on form once again. He likes these high-speed tracks, doesn't he? Break slightly early, or so we're going into the back of the road, trying to do a cut back, like Lloyd did on us on the previous lap. We've got Rodrigo and Suzuki battling behind for 14th. We're concentrating on Libero Lloyd in front. And down the inside, the Belgian rider. That's for the beginning of the lap. Back into 12th is McDonald's. But Binder has snuck into 11th once again, just like in Austria. As we're losing out on the straights. There we go, the second right-hander seems to be where we've got loads of speed and bash away by Lloyd. Back into 12. Oh, but I'll break ourselves into the hairpin. Will Lloyd come back at us? Don't think the Belgian will. He's going to the penultimate corner as Mears upsetting the home fans. Taking the lead from Belega as we go wide in the final corner. As Martin takes third from Canet. Lloyd takes 12 from us. As he going to the penultimate lap of the race. Got Suzuki right behind as well, the Japanese rider. Oh, we're just dropping back in this race. As we're bashing it with Loy once again. We're flat out through the right hander though, down the inside of the Leopard. This mirror takes the lead once again from Belega. So there we go, that's how you hook up that right hander. But Loy's coming back at us. Very aggressive. The Leopard rider. This Binder's about a second in front. We want to stay ahead of Lloyd, not be battling. And concentrate on hitting apexes. Maximising our corner in speed so we can catch up to Binder. Once again, running wide in the hairpin. That's allowed. Lloyd back by. Rodrigo up into 15th or down to 16th. Lured in by. So running wide into the right-hander. We get on the power slightly earlier. Not working out though, as there's a battle for that final point between Rodrigo and Nuruddin. The Argentine and Malaysian coming to blows like Lloyd and McDonald for the whole of this race, it feels like. Been a fantastic battle between the Belgian and the Brit once again. Here we go, sneaking down the inside of Lloyd into that right hander. Not quite working out though, maybe into the hairpin or onto the power slightly early. Run wide. That will allow Suzuki from behind to gain on us. As we're approaching the final out of the race, into the final corner. Let's put an ultimate lap. Oh, once again, skating on the brakes. Not working at all into that final corner as we go into the final lap of the race. Let's see if we can say goodbye to Binder in front. We're not saying goodbye to Lloyd just yet. Oh, on the power too early. Compromise, I ran into the right-hander. Now into the right-hander where we're pretty strong as well. What about Brakes, Loy? He had a good run. Spadega's up into second pass, Martin. He's not giving up on that win just yet, the young Italian. But a superb run onto this back straight. Are we getting some slit stream from the Leopards? Just like we wished we had in Austria, not quite. And much better breaking into the hairpin. Didn't pick up the power as early as the Belgium though. I could hear that. But we've got a superb run heading on to the fast sweepers. Look at that, really hooking up that apex. Once again, slightly late onto the power. Just. We're getting some slip stream now, and as you know, that second right hander we're very strong. Mir takes the lead from his championship rival. 
We're trying to take 12 from our rival this race. Breaking a bit earlier into that third right hander. Has allowed us to run down the inside of Lloyd. No, we're down. We're out of the points. No. Down to 19 on the final lap. We went for glory against Lloyd. It did not work out. And in the end, it has cost us points as Connect wins from Mir. Fantastic Baton again from the Championship duo. As the Nero passes. Ramirez at the line for 17th. We're in 90, no points after that qualifying effort. Incredibly disappointed. As Martin makes it an all Spanish podium in third ahead of Belega. McPhee holds on to a top five. It's got having race pace for once ahead of DJ and Antonio, Fernati, Castellini, Antonelli. Otto rounds out the top 10 ahead of Binder, Loy, Suzuki, Nuruddin. Rodrigo grabs the final point. No, Noah Din grabs the final point ahead of Rodrigo. As we had the Italian 14th. But it's still top purge right ahead of Kornfeld, who's in 24th. And our teammate wasn't last by 25 thousandths of a second from Finnish Patrick. As in the championship, Connect takes over the championship lead from here. That, race, that championship battle is going to the final race, to the final lap of that final race as well. Final corner bats between the pair. As Belega's now dropped back in a lonely third. Martin up to fourth, 86 points back. The Spaniard of the of his Spaniard, fellow Spaniard. As McDonald, 14th. He should be up the order, up into 13th. But that race just went backwards. And in the end, that battle with Loy cost us. As Binder is up to 16th after another good showing ahead of Ramirez. Suzuki up to 18th ahead of Guerrero and De Niro. As yeah, the other McDonald's still with us. And in the construction standings, Honda have over that two race win lead. Now over KTM, 58 points. Peugeot in a solid third ahead of Mahindra are just not going to score this season, are they? As yes, McDonald crashed once again after an amazing qualifying one it was just a dream in the race 19 but we achieved the race objective we're getting some credits on the board which is important for our team as patrick mcdonald is once again not coming home with the goods so we improve our breaking for our management corner and body position for dan mcdonald for patrick mcdonald the corner is up to 51 and we just earned some credits but we get a decent amount of reputation so we get a free weekend before we head to Aragon and the third Spanish round of the season after Erez and Barcelona. Will this circuit be as kind as Barcelona or will it end up like Erez? Find out next time. Southwatch and I will see you then.